This is Jaren.net, and today we're reviewing the latest firmware for the Rebel SIM card 2. Uh, it's version 1.2, which now works for the Dell Streak. So we'll go ahead and first show you putting in a T-Mobile SIM into the Streak and show you that it is indeed locked. And then we will turn it on here. And there you go, network is locked, you can't use the phone. So now we'll go ahead and turn it back off and put in the new Rebel SIM 2 with the latest firmware. And remember the last one, it would cause the Dell Streak to not work on 3G if it would even work at all, especially after if you try to change the network it's connected to. But now the team here at Rebel SIM fixed it. So let's go ahead and pop this in here. This again is the Rebel SIM card 2 with the version 1.2 firmware. If you order it now it has the latest firmware or you can get a SIM card programmer either through Rebel SIM card or you can get a generic one online and just download the freely available firmware upgrade from their site. So now we have the Rebel SIM card in there as you can see go ahead and turn it back on and we'll see if it works this time on 3G as well as 2G data connection making calls and receiving calls and again this is an O2 locked phone and it currently has a T-Mobile UK SIM card in there now you can see T-Mobile and it's already got data connection so let's go ahead and first show you that the data is working let's go to let's say Google so there you go, data is working now let's go to different settings and try to break it let's go ahead and turn on airplane mode and now the uh, data and cell connection is off. Turn it back off. Takes a second for it to reconnect. There we go. It's back on T-Mobile. It's got a cell connection. And in a second it'll be back on data. So let's go ahead and try to break it like it did for the uh, version 1.1 firmware by switching around the network mode we'll go ahead and try GSM only and you can see it lost connection come right back up now it's on uh, edge mode or non 3G go ahead and show that it's still working we'll go to say images let's do a test There you go. So now we'll switch it back on to 3G mode again. We'll have it first. It's on 3G, 2G. We manually selected T-Mobile. Let's manually select a different one to knock it off. Let's try hopping on Vodafone. It shouldn't allow it. We'll see you come up with a message saying can't connect. Doesn't allow connection to this network can't really read it there. So we'll go back and now select automatically. And it should connect right back to T-Mobile. Registered on network. Back to T-Mobile. Let's go ahead and turn it back on to automatic network mode. Which should knock it back to 3G here in a moment. There we've got non-3G. Give it a second, it'll connect. There we go, HSDPA. Let's go ahead and try receiving a call now. There we go, receiving a call. This is a test. Oh, that's working. Try the browser, we'll click on an image. It's working. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and now try an even different sim. We'll try going to orange. Let me show you that will work with no problems as well. 
All right, now we're going to pop in the Rebel SIM again with an orange SIM card this time. And there we go. Orange there. Battery's going to die. <laughs> Let's check the APM settings. As you can see, it's already connected to 3G here. And again, still orange. And it automatically finds the correct APN settings for your phone, which is great. You don't have to worry about changing your settings anytime you put in a new SIM card. So let's go ahead and show that the internet is working again. Go into Google. Let's go ahead and call it, or I'll call it from it. There you go, it's working. This is a test. It's obviously working there. As you can see, I tried it with T-Mobile in orange. So there you have it. This is the uh, Dell Streak using the latest uh, 1.2 firmware on the Rebel SIM card 2, which will let you use it on any 3G, 2G, Edge, uh, GSM carrier, any GSM carrier worldwide, as long as you have a SIM card, and you can pop it in your phone. Uh, it'll work. It'll unlock it. Uh, this is Jaren.net, and thanks for watching the review.